All right, I'm gonna do something different for once in my life here and try and be concise and quick to the point in the first three minutes of a video because you guys have one week to farm the Buzzard Adept. It's double Nightfall rewards and the Glassway. Yes, the Glassway sucks, but this sidearm is absolutely worth your time. However, there are some things you need to know going in because this is absolutely one of the best sidearms in the game if you kit it out correctly, but there are some changes on the horizon that make you want to reconsider what a traditional god bolt could be. So before we get too deep, make sure you guys take a second, like the video, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment down below to help out with the YouTube algorithm, and let's talk about why you should absolutely be farming the buzzard this week. So what makes the buzzard so god tier? Well, it's our first kinetic adaptive sidearm in a long time, and not only is it an adaptive sidearm, it's one with access to adept mods. It also arguably has better stats than the king of all sidearms, Drang, and access to arguably a better perk pool. So if you get the perfect PvP buzzard, you don't have access to one of the best sidearms in the entire game. And when you look at this perk pool, there's a very clear path that a lot of people are gonna take here. Give me a range barrel like small bore, full bore, give me high caliber ricochet rounds, give me perpetual motion, range finder, and a range masterwork, and bada bing, bada boom, we have ourselves a god roll. And yes, if you get this roll, it is fantastic. However, there are a couple things to consider. The biggest thing being that Rangefinder is quickly approaching a nerf. Zoom will no longer be coupled with effective range on weapons. This means perks like Rangefinder, weapons with outlier zooms like Drang, are about to take a massive hit to what is their perceived best attribute, which is outranging their contemporaries. So Rangefinder, while it will still be a good perk because it will boost accuracy, will no longer be the god tier best in slot option. Which means we're more open to trying other options like Swashbuckler, Multi-Kill Clip, and even Frenzy. But, there's one further thing I would like you guys to consider. While Rangefinder is getting nerfed, another perk on the Buzzard might be a sleeper best in slot option, and that is Encore. Now, Encore traditionally is not a perk that garners a lot of hype, but the key thing here is that Encore also increases accuracy. And anytime you can increase accuracy in Destiny, it is a cheat code. Accuracy is everything. This is how sticky your weapons feel on controller. This is how forgiving your headshots are in terms of headshot hitboxes. Any perk that will increase accuracy is automatically a god tier addition. And frankly, it's far better in my opinion than something like Perpetual Motion, despite what benefits Perpetual Motion may give you. If you don't know how Encore works, every time you get a final blow, you gain a stack of Encore. You gain one stack for a body shot kill, two stacks for a headshot kill. These stacks grant you five range, eight stability, and minus 1.25% accuracy cone size. Now that may seem like a weird number to consider, like what is accuracy cone size? But just think about it as your aim assist is now more effective every time you get a kill. And this buff is tangible. Once you get a kill, it's sort of like having opening shot for a few seconds. It gives you just a constant feedback loop of getting kills, makes you more lethal, which lets you get more kills, which makes you more lethal over and over and over again. And the difference in feel with and without Encore is absolutely tangible. You're watching some of this background gameplay. When I'm getting kills, this thing is hitting headshots it should not be hitting. This is absolutely a god tier perk, and I would argue best in slot. So with all that information in mind, what are the god rules that you need to be looking out while you are farming this week in the Glassway? Well, you want range barrels and range mags. And then in terms of perks, the first perk in the left column that you should always keep is any roll with Encore that pairs with a damage perk and or rangefinder. Secondarily, if you get a perpetual motion roll, you really want rangefinder as the accompanying perk as perpetual motion with a damage perk may be nice for aggressive playstyles. It's gonna lose out in the consistency department to other sidearms like Traveler's Chosen and Drang. You want that combination of accuracy and consistency or accuracy and damage. You can't just go for damage and aggression here as you're gonna lose out in the range war. Pair that up with a range masterwork and an adept range mod and you were absolutely slain out. Keep in mind that sidearms have great airborne effectiveness naturally and adding on one targeting mod puts you at 99 aim assist. So you don't need a targeting mod, you don't need an Icarus mod, and all other of the adept mods are not useful. So go for the adept range and crank those stats. Just as an aside here as we wrap up this video, if you were to get a perfect max range buzzard, full bore, ricochet, range masterwork, plus encore and an adept range mod, after one headshot kill in the crucible, you would have 86 range, 86 stability, 99 aim assist with a targeting mod, and you would have a massive increase to your accuracy from both encore and rangefinder. 
That is by far the best sidearm stat package in the game. So keep an eye out for these perks, and hopefully you guys have some luck out there. I'm going to let some gameplay from this Burnout game finish out for a few minutes just to meet that YouTube algorithm love, and I'll see you guys soon with another video. Claim, Guardian. Well fought. 